Adam Young says, hey guys, questions about ranking local map. Can we rank one Google My Business page for two different languages? That's a good question. I don't know, Adam. Uh, Hernan, Marco? Hmm, yeah, I'm check that, that's, yeah, I saw this earlier b before we came on, and and it's interesting, but it's it's not anything that I've tested yet. Yeah. Mm. Um. Well, one Google My Business for two different languages. I don't think so, Adam. Uh, you could. I, I mean, you could treat the 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 two different languages because I like to treat languages as subdomains. So you can treat the two different languages as two different separate websites. You know what I mean? I know that. Yeah, they but if it's the same phone number and the same address, though, couldn't that cause NAP issues? Well, yeah, that's something that we will need to check out because uh, I like to treat like different languages as different entities because that's the deal. You're you're dealing with an entire different, you know, set of SEO rules. Like I do a lot of Spanish English stuff, and um. That's the deal, you know. Uh, Google doesn't even work as well in Spanish or any other language for that matter. But on the Google My Business side of things, well, we will have to double check actually. From an, now that you mentioned entity, from an entity standpoint, you'd be creating ambiguation if, if you use the NAP on the, the same NAP on both. And so from that standpoint, I would say, I would just say no. Because you don't want to do that. You don't want yeah. to be ambiguous when it comes to the business. Right. You, you want to make sure that, that your entity is what it is and that Google knows exactly what that verified entity is, especially with, with regards to the semantic web. So, so that's a good point. You, you have to be careful with that ent with the entity and, and whatever signals you're sending to Google. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would, be, I would worry about that too because of NAP issues. Um, you know, and that's what. So we just had a conversation about this in one of the groups. Um, somebody was asking about having uh, <clears throat> two businesses with different names, but the same. They were in the same location, so they had the same name and the same phone number. And and I said that's probably not a good idea. I've I've experienced stuff like that, guys. It's a real pain in the ass. Like if you have two businesses at the same location and they have a unique name. They share the same address, but they have d different unique phone numbers and different web addresses. That's usually okay. It's usually when you, if you start to share two out of three of the data points from NAP, um, that's when it starts to cause problems. Right. So usually, if it's if if there's only one shared data point among across you know multiple listings or whatever, then it doesn't create NAP issues. Um, that that's just typically how it works out. So I would recommend against that, Adam. Trying to do that, anyways. Um, do something where if you were to change the name, use a subdomain, and then have a second forwarding phone number, you could do that. You could get away with that. Like like Hernan said, have a subdomain with one of the languages versions of it, and then just change the name, which it might be changed just because it's in a different language. I don't know. But then you could have the same physical address, but then for the phone number, just get a different virtual phone number and have that forward to the same destination if they all calls route to the same place anyways it wouldn't matter but at least you'd have a unique phone number then right yeah and I think it's gonna be more related to the queries that trigger that listing you know uh, probably the, the name is gonna be pretty much the same but the keywords are gonna be different you yeah know, that's the, true the, the, the queries are gonna be different so that that could work I mean the, the fact that you get another phone number maybe another PO box I don't know but um, we'll need to test at the end of the day. So. Yeah.